The good news is we have lower humidity to look forward to tomorrow. So it's still going to be warm, but not as warm. The temperatures right now, we've gotten a big cool down thanks to those strong thunderstorms that moved through. So those downpours uh, did us a favor there by cooling us down. Temperatures here, some of us still in the 80s, others of us, we've dropped all the way down into the 70s. <gasps> Aberdeen Dean with your vintage WJZ set photo. We love that throwback there. 80 on the dot. Let's see who this is from. Scott in Millersville at partly cloudy as of nine minutes ago. So thank you so much for that, Scott. And then just a few photos because I can't resist. Twyla, 15 minutes ago, rain kissed daylilies. Yes, rain soaked daylilies, perhaps. Uh, and we have this beautiful one from George this morning. Tomato Day, another great harvest. Those look delicious. I'm waiting for the delivery of those to the station. Okay, the radar. So we do have some changes. You will notice that severe thunderstorm watch has been dropped for the majority of us, including the city of Baltimore, including the county surrounding areas. The eastern shore, though, you are still under that watch. And actually, we're still seeing this severe thunderstorm warning right over the eastern eastern area. Heavy downpours in there, potentially some hail and some damaging wind gusts as well. And these storms really tracking east, southeast across the area. So we should stay quiet for the rest of our evening in the Baltimore area. For the most part, we could see an isolated shower or two. Temperature. We were headed towards 98 today. We ended up stopping just shy of that at 97 degrees, and then the storms arrived. So that uh, really stopped a lot of us from getting to the expected highs for the day. 84 at BWI, 79 in Bel Air, 84 in Westminster. The dew points here in the low 70s, and so this is how it's feeling, feeling like 90 right now. But really not too bad based on the timing of the rain. It was perfect. There's that cold front you can see draped across the area. We don't see it actually clear Maryland until tomorrow morning. So it's going to take its time moving across the area tonight into very early tomorrow morning. What that means for our Sunday, it's going to be a tad cooler, but that drop in humidity really means it's going to be more comfortable. It should be a beautiful day as well. Could be, though, a tad breezy. Keep that in mind. Our next chance for rain arrives on Tuesday. Now, don't stress when you take a look at the seven day forecast. Tonight, low 70s, and then tomorrow, 91. We're talking chances for rain. It's just the pattern that we're in right now. This is how we should be uh, to kick off July here for our Independence Day. We always know there's a chance for the storm, so the fireworks may not be all we see.